the essence of divine love. There is no greater power than the Christ light. Control and command over the physical and spiritual atoms are achieved not by power of your earthly mind, but by the very essence of the lowly spirit of the gentle Christ. Whatever problem lies before you can be solved by the Christ love, the great and only true solvent of all problems. The life, the power of the Christ spirit can never be destroyed. Your body may die, people may disappoint you, and your world may pass away, but the spirit of the Son of God can never fail. Its light is life. Live in this light forever. We understand how easily weariness of mind and body can possess you, for we ourselves have not forgotten our earthly experiences. We understand the heaviness of matter and how it weighs you down. Yet saints and sages have evolved bodies that have become so light and vibrant that they live and move between the physical and etheric state. This same process of evolution is continually going on in all physical matter. All humanity is progressing upward in its return to the divine Father-Mother God, and in the process is shedding both the denser atoms and appetites of the lower self. In the degree this happens, so does the vibration of Mother Earth herself quicken and her substance becomes less gross. If you will meditate upon the presence of the beautiful Christ Spirit, you will absorb the essence of its being. The essence or perfume will quicken your own bodily vibration so that all tiredness and heaviness depart. You will not know tiredness when you come to the edge of the aura of the Great One. We can only tell you about these things. They wait for you to experience them for yourself. Do you remember the wonderful healings which took place when the crowds pressed around the beloved Master? To be near him, to touch his holy aura, was sufficient to revitalize the soul of the sick man who sought healing. Again we say that the one truth, the one power the world is waiting for is the power of the pure and holy Christ Spirit. To you, the world may appear to be in chaos, but we assure you that out of chaos and suffering, a better understanding is coming to birth. Would that we could find the words to convince you of this truth. But since words cannot of themselves always bring conviction, we can only endeavor to impart to you the essence of divine love. The way to work for the great brotherhood of life is always by love, never by force in any shape or form. No one must force their own individual or personal views upon others. To love them is the only way to win them. Amen. And so, in the quiet, just let us bring our focus to the heart center, the dwelling place of the divine spirit, this holy Christ love, which in its fullness lives within every heart, and it is for us to gradually uncover and to shine the light. Whatever the circumstances in our life, to be centered, to be still, 
to be kind, to shine the divine light. So let us now breathe in this holy breath. Feel its influence over every cell of our bodies, bringing quiet, tranquility, and a deep sense of peace. Be still and know that I am God. As we draw to our souls this beautiful aura of peace and tranquility, knowing that as the day before us presents itself, we may resolve to live in our highest place, at the very finest of our being, in every action and reaction. to return always to that beautiful divine spirit which lives and moves and has its being within the heart. Let the light shine forth. Let us breath, bless, enfold and uphold every one of our human family. For together we are moving forward into the light. So we give thanks for the gift of life and for all the opportunities that lie before us in this day. We feel the warmth, the strength and the love which enfolds us. as we receive the blessing of the Christ Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amen.